Thanks for watching MHH, the source of the best tech walkthroughs, tutorials, and of course, hacks on the planet. Cue dope intro. Give you my heart. How is everyone doing? So, um, a little while back, I did uh, I did a video um, about Roku's and um, basically how to enable, disable closed captioning. Uh, this video, I wanted to uh, basically do the same thing, but do it a little more in depth um, and cover. Um, so, the issue I've run across with me myself, um, either personally, but also as a as a tech support expert on JustAnswer.com, I've run across um, an issue where people will have uh, you know maybe they want the closed captioning enabled, say, so. The thing with Roku is it's a little weird, is you have to go to the settings menu and enable it, and then you have to go to each specific channel and enable it on the channel. So if it is, say, enabled in the settings, or uh, and if it's enabled in the settings and then disabled on the channel itself, say Netflix for instance, um, then you will not see closed captioning, at least on Netflix. And so um, because of this trickiness, uh, people uh, I've noticed people in Just Answer again. Um, have run into a lot of issues with uh, with that. Um, so I'm going to break so, it down in this video for you, uh, show you both how to uh, either enable, like I said, or disable closed captioning um, on in the settings itself in Roku, show you where that setting is, and then also um, in the, some of the channels. Um, I can't show you every channel, of course, but I'll show you some of the key ones like Hulu and Netflix, uh, where, where that setting is to enable the closed captioning. Okay, so um, first thing you're going to do is from the home screen, you're going to scroll down until you see the settings. And then from here, um, you are going to scroll through the settings until you see this one right here, accessibility. Click on the accessibility, and then from there, you're going to go to the caption mode. Um, if you want them on by default, you're going to use that setting on always. And, you know, closed caption will look something like that. Um, now, again, you do have to uh, enable it on the channels as well. But this just leaves it as an on by default as far as the Roku device uh, goes. So um, right now I do have it set to off because uh, I usually don't have closed captioning, at least not on this TV. It's a this is actually a smaller TV. Usually if I am going to have closed captioning, it's on a on the larger uh, downstairs TV. So uh, while you're here though, so you have the caption mode, but just below that is the captions preferred language, and so you can change the language of your uh, oops of your captioning. So default, of course, is English. You can also do Spanish, French, and a whole lot of other languages here. Now, this does not necessarily mean that these languages will be all available in um, whichever program you're watching, whichever channel you are watching. This just means that if it's available, it will display captioning in that language. Now, you know, some of these languages are not as widely spoken, so it probably be very hit and miss. You know, I'd Croatian, for instance, is a very cool language, but not very widely spoken. So, at least not outside of uh, outside of Central Europe. So, probably, you know, most programs will not have Croatian captioning. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Croatians. You have a beautiful country, but not the most widely spoken language. So, you can also uh, modify the text style of the uh, captioning. So, uh, the font. Uh, some fonts are easier to see. I'm just show you a few of the fonts. Why not? So some of these fonts are gonna are, might be easier to see for your eyes, um, and if you heard a little chime on the video just now, that was my low battery signal from my phone. I fell asleep and did not charge it last night. So you can change different style. That doesn't really honestly change that much, but these are settings you can modify again just if, to enhance. Uh, your perception of it is if you're like me and you wear glasses, um, the text size is something to uh, that's nice to modify. Although because I do wear glasses and I do have, uh, I am nearsighted, so very nice to know that's there. So once your setting is set, uh, I'm going to show you where to find the settings in uh, two of the more popular channels. Uh, we'll start with Netflix since um, you know it's Netflix. And this is not my profile, by the way. This is my seven-year-old nephews. I do not watch all of these programs. That would be kind of weird. So um, the way you see what your setting is, is you, you select a program. Um, hopefully the net job guys don't like sue me for copyright infringement, but I need to show the setting. And this is the only way to get to it. On the So you do audio and subtitles right here. And 
then there we go and that shows you your current setting currently is set to on and since we just turned it on on the Roku side on the settings on Roku then that means you know I start playing this program and it will display closed captioning so that is Netflix uh, and that music is obnoxious so now I'm gonna show you on Hulu where where that setting is located because each channel uh, conveniently and I say that with sarcasm of course rolling my eyes uh, puts the subtitle closed captioning setting in a different location uh, in a different you know there's a different way to get to it basically so this is Hulu so I just clicked OK to select this program um, I don't actually want to play that program so what you do is when you're in a program you just hit the pause button um, and let's see if I can bring that more into focus so basically, you're at pause, the selector is on the play button, so you're going to hit to the right, uh, should be two times, and this will tell you, so subtitles are now off, that turns them on, and I'm. this would be where you would select an additional language. Um, right now, since this is a uh, an ad, only English subtitles are available, but uh, if there if this was a regular program, there would be usually there's going to be other options there you're usually almost always going to see spanish uh very often you'll see french uh and and german as well so so that is hulu again you select a program you just hit pause on the program and then you go over to the settings hit hit to the right uh one to two times to get to the settings in this case this is a live program so i had to hit it twice all right so the next i'm going to show is disney plus which only came out last year, but apparently already has like 50 million freaking subscribers, which is crazy, including me actually, by the way, obviously. And so Disney Plus, um, the closed captioning setting, it works similar to Hulu. You select a program, you start playing uh, said program, whichever program doesn't matter. Um, in this case, I did not pick one of their blockbuster movies because I don't want to get in copyright trouble. So from there, you're going to hit the start button on your remote. And let me, one second. Oh, that guy is obnoxious. Okay, anyway. He's cute in the movies, but these little shorts are kind of annoying. So, you hit the star button, and this opens up your closed captioning. Focus, focus, there we go. Uh, the closed captioning settings. Whoops, and they just went away. So, right now, it is set to on, always. Um, on replay, or just off, are the options there. Um, you can also change uh, your audio track. Um, and you can also change some other things. I don't want to get all into this, but basically, um, now that we've enabled closed captioning on the settings menu, this is set to on. You will see closed captioning on your programs. You can always set this off for this uh, for this particular channel, uh, Disney Plus in this case. Um, I do recommend, though, to leave it on as far as on the Roku settings. Okay, so that is um, that is how you change the settings for the subtitles, closed captioning on your Roku device uh, or Roku TV. Um, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. I'm going to be making more videos of, uh, about Roku's and uh, other streaming devices. Actually, I'm going to be doing um, here uh, pretty soon. I'll be doing a video uh, drawing a comparison between Chromecast, Fire TV, and uh, Roku. And um, so, uh, and in this case, by the way, when I say Roku, I do mean the Roku devices as opposed to Roku TV, which are um, software wise the same, but at the same time, there are some distinct differences. I don't currently own a Roku TV, so I don't have a really a way to, to do a comparison with that, but I do own a Roku, uh, device. I have a Amazon fire TV and I also have at uh, several different points owned a Chromecast. I do not have my Chromecast at the moment, but, um, I had, I owned one for quite some time. So I'm going to be drawing a comparison between all of those three different options for streaming, uh, the pros and cons, cause they're all very different. It, you can't really say which one is, it's really hard to say if one is better or not, but there are some distinct differences and depending on the differences, uh, could determine what is the best setup for you. So stay tuned for that and I will catch you all on the next video.